Hello everyone, I'm Nazareth Fatima. Welcome to Live Law. You all might have come across cases where a person or a group of people try to propagate their religion using the religious scriptures and religious teachings, which lay an impact on the minds of some people, resulting in them converting to other religions. But is this practice protected under law? Let's take a look. In this video, we'll discuss a case in which two people who are Christians by religion were booked under the UP Prohibition of Unlawful Conversion of Religion Act and also the SCST Act. They were arrested earlier this year on the basis of a complaint filed by a BJP functionary in Ambedkar Nagar district. The learned council contended that the appellants were languishing in jail since 24th of January 2023. When they filed their bail application, it was rejected on March 3 this year by the special judge SCST Act, Ambedkar Nagar, and later they moved the High Court. So the Allahabad High Court observed that providing good teachings or distributing Holy Bible books and performing bandaras does not amount to allurement for religious conversion under the Uttar Pradesh Prohibition of Unlawful Conversion of Religion Act 2021. With this, the court with its bench comprising of Justice Shami Mehmad also explained that as per Section 4 of the UP Prohibition of Unlawful Conversion of Religion Act 2021, that is person competent to lodge FIR, only a person who has been converted, his or her parents, brother, sister or any other person who is related to him or her by blood, marriage or adoption may lodge an FIR pertaining to the allegation of such conversion and no one else is entitled to do so. The court granted bail to these persons who were accused of luring Hindus to convert to Christianity amongst the communities of scheduled caste and scheduled tribe. The court while doing so took into account the allegations against the accused persons and the arguments advanced by both parties and observed that there was no material to show that the appellants had used any undue influence or allurement to the villagers for mass conversion from Hinduism to Christianity. In addition to granting bail to the accused, the court also noted that the appellants were involved in providing good teachings to children and promoting the spirit of brotherhood amongst the villagers and as such nothing indicates that these people tried to convert other people to Christianity using any sort of a force. The appeal was allowed accordingly and the accused were directed to be released on bail. That's all about it for now. We hope you like our content. If you do, please like and share our videos. Also subscribe to our channel on YouTube. And don't forget to press the bell icon for notifications. Thank you for watching.